Hi, it's Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is my 26 man rat match reaction from Martin O'Neill's squad to play France and the USA. So we started off with the goalkeepers. Uh, Colin Doyle is back in the squad again after starting the game versus Turkey. I thought he had a decent enough game against Turkey, but um, he's a bit over the hill now at this stage and kind of never really made an international career over. So I don't really see the point in kind of calling him up. You know, maybe it's just a token gesture from Martin O'Neill, but I just don't understand um, having him in there. Maybe because he's no other experienced goalkeeper. I don't know why Dan, Dan Randolph is left out of the squad again. Doesn't really make that much sense. Um, but look, if it's a chance to give other keepers a run or whatever, or, or make them feel better by playing a couple of friendlies, then maybe they have an agreement between Randolph and O'Neill, which is something they'll have to work out anyway. But uh, we've got Conor O'Malley, then a Peterborough, a former League of Ireland goalkeeper as well, played with Pats, uh, most notably. But... Um, he is in the squad again. Um, you know, I'd be interested to see if he gets some game time. I'd like to see him get some game time because, as I say, Doyle's a bit over the hill. Um, you know, and then looking at Shane Supple, who is a fantastic keeper, and you know, gave up football in two thousand and nine, came back and played competitively in two thousand and fifteen. Came back playing football. He did go and win an All Ireland medal with Dublin. Funny enough, with the GAA. Um, there's actually a video on our channel with Shane um, explaining his career and kind of why he why he went away from playing football uh, when he was at Ipswich Town and why he left, why he came home, uh, how he got back into GAA and then how he, got, how he came about getting back in with Bowes. Um, so you can check that out actually on our YouTube channel. But Shane is a lovely, lovely guy and um, I hope for his sake now that he actually gets a run because you know it's all well and good getting called up. <clears throat> to the to the Ireland squad and everyone making a big song and dance about it but you know you want them playing in these games you don't want them just being in the squad I mean as I say Doyle's been in there you know and he's never really done anything uh, he's never tried to, to claim his place I mean he's playing for Bradford or something like that but you know I just don't see the point but I'd love to see, for, for Shane's sake and for the sake of the League of Ireland I'd just love to see him get a run in there because He's just, a, he's just a lovely guy and he's a class keeper. He's probably the best keeper in the league. Uh, I don't think many people would disagree with me and if they do, they'd probably say Gary Rogers or McNulty at Cork. Probably the only ones that'd be giving them a run. But then again, they're they're kind of reaching their, their their later years. So it's it'd be interesting to see. I, I would just hope that either O'Malley or Supple you know, play the games. I mean, I, I don't really see the point in, in Doyle playing the games but even if they got a half each that, that would be that would be you know I think most Irish fans would be happy enough with that uh, moving on to defenders then our defenders are then Coleman Doherty Duffy Rice uh, Darrell Lenehan Blackburn uh, John O'Shea which would be a big one for him Enda Stevens, um Williams of Blackburn and uh, Greg Cunningham of Preston. So there's a couple of good players in there that I'd like to see get a run, maybe uh, a half each for maybe Stevens and Cunningham at left back, both doing really well in the championship this season, or did sorry rather, uh, had a really good um, season uh, personally. Uh, the only thing with Cunningham is he gets injured a lot. Um, if he could kick on a little bit and kind of prevent the injuries, you know, maybe he'd be making a statement at a left back, maybe, who knows, but um be interested to see as well Doherty I'd like to see him get a run obviously we all like to see Seamus Coleman out there captain of the side but um, you know Seamus can only go on for so long um, he's coming to 30 now and, and Doherty's a good bit younger so he's going to be his successor in the long run so it'd be interested to see kind of how much game time he gets and you know he as well as uh, having a really fantastic season he got promoted with Wolves as well and again had a really good season himself so I mean it's kind of weird because we, at the back we're actually quite in a good situation. I mean, we've got some solid defenders there. We've got Rice, Duffy. Um, <clears throat> well, O'Shea obviously was was very good in his day. Uh, Kevin, Kevin Long's very good at Burnley. You know, we, we do have a, a solid kind of defence there that we, we can work with. Obviously, I think O'Shea will, will start this because this is going to be his last game. Well, no, sorry, the game against USA will be his last game. So I think... 
he'll be saved for that. So, um, but for the French game, I don't really see him starting, to be honest. But uh, we'll do a starting 11 show on that. So you can check that out once it's up. But uh, yeah, I think maybe for the France game, they'll probably go with a stronger 11. Although France have, you know, two squads that are better than ours. They're, they're, they could pick two 11s. They'll be better than any of our 11s. So uh, that's just the way it is. They're just blessed with talent and we're... Uh, we're not spoiled for choice like they are unfortunately but um, I mean we are what we are uh, what we be would be uh, but um, yeah I mean I can't really argue too much with the defenders um, you know it, it, it's fair I, I, if we stick with the back three I could see it being Duffy, Royce and Long and then maybe a full back system of either Cunningham or uh, Stevens on the left and then I could see uh, either Coleman or Doherty on the right or Doherty can play on the left as well uh, in midfield, then Callum O'Dowd is back uh, in the squad. Harry Arthur, they both missed out on the squad there recently. Enough. Jeff Hendricks there had a fantastic season with Burnley after getting into the uh, European spots there. And they'll be playing the Europa League next season. Uh, David Moyle, a bit of a weird one after he's leaving Hull. Currently doesn't have a club, I don't think. I was training with, uh, coaching with Drogheda at the moment. Or, uh, last week he was coaching with, with Drogheda, i seen on his Instagram. Uh, Alan Brown, I mean, I'd love to see him get in there. Obviously, he scored a peach at Celtic Park there last week uh, in Scott Brown's testimonial. So it'd be great to see uh, if he can play and maybe get on the score sheet again. He obviously finished the season very strongly at Preston, as well as most of the Irish lads there. But he's, he finished it quite well. So you know, I'd love to see him get a run and just see what he can do against a very good French team. Um, Sean Williams as well I'd like to see him get in get a little bit of game time in either of the games I think it'd be good for him and good experience for him James McLean I think you know he, I think he has to be there he's one of those players who, who gives us that little bit of edge when he's playing for Ireland I don't know what happened in the season with uh, West Brom but you know they got relegated um, <clears throat> he didn't play a lot after he, kind of, after he scored that goal against uh, Wales actually he didn't play a lot which was kind of strange, um, maybe a bit of bitterness by Tony Pulis because we um, effectively gave the Welsh team no chance. But I don't know, uh, he, he never really got a look in. Then obviously Padgett came in, he's a prick, so uh, he didn't seem to get on too well with him. And then Darren Moore became manager and seemed to get the best out of him. It'd be interesting to see kind of where he goes now in the summer. Obviously, obviously that um, romantic link between himself and Celtic. It'd be interesting to see if he does it. Uh, I for one would love to see him play at Celtic and you know Champions League football and stuff like that. It could only you know benefit him and first team football. It can only benefit him and benefit us uh, as well because he's one of our best players. When on his day when he, when he's not roiled up and not making rash tackles, he's one of our best players and most effective players. And obviously he was our player of the campaign in qualifying. So you know he has to be in there regardless of getting relegated or not. Um, Daryl Horgan. I think that's a bit of a strange one. I mean, he's had a bit of an up and down season. He had bits and pieces where he was good. You know, it'd be interested to see if he does stay at Preston. Um, he hasn't really been lighting it up. There's games where, where, where he was earlier on in the season and the Preston fans were all like, oh my God, Daryl, you know, Horgan is the best player ever and all this type of stuff. But um, it's one of those things where he's just going to have to find some consistency. And if he does, happy days. Um, He's not really got much of a run with us, to be fair. He's been in a lot of squads, but never really got a run. So, you know, maybe for his sake, he could do with a bit of a run. Uh, we're not really blessed up top then with our uh, spot for choice. I know Ho uh, Scott Hogan is um, he's away playing the championship final with uh, Aston Villa. Same with uh, Conor Horan as well. So best of luck to them. And Glenn Whelan, so best of luck to them if you're watching. And, yeah, so we've got Shane Long. Uh... John Walters and Graham Burke. Well, Graham Burke isn't really a striker. He's more of a number 10. He doesn't really get into the... I mean, you know he scored that header against Waterford in the box, but he doesn't score that many in the box. He usually kind of hangs around the edge of the box. He's more of a number 10 than he is a striker. So effectively, we're going there with uh, Long and Walters as our strikers and others. What I'd be questioning is, and I'm not questioning any of the players' loyalty or, or you know, their goal scoring records, I mean, they are what they are. Shane Long, he'll run all day, give you all the work rate in the world. Solo Jonathan Walters. Uh, Sean McGuire is obviously ruled out with um, 
injury, so he won't be actually playing any of these games, which is unfortunate because everyone was looking forward to him uh, coming into the squad and seeing how he would do because he's obviously, you know, one of our most exciting prospects coming through at the minute. But for me, I, I just don't understand. Um, Pat Huben, he's an out and out striker. He's fantastic. Um, he's top scorer in the Irish City League. He just came back from Mansfield and um, has joined Dundalk this season. I, I don't understand why Burke's in there and Hooven's not. I think that if they're going to pick, you should pick them both because um, we're not blessed in the in the striking department in terms of goals. Um, he defends from the front, which is exactly what we need. He can hold the ball up. He scores all types of goals. He brings other people into play. He's a nightmare for defenders. He never gives them a minute. Uh, I watched him against Bowes last week, uh, just most recently, uh, Friday night. And he was fantastic. He closed down everything. He got his goal. You know, a lot of people when they get the goal, they kind of just stop. But he was just fighting for every cause. You know, any time a defender was trying to clear, he'd be down slide tackling and making sure the ball's kept up um, in their half. He should. He should. I just. I just don't understand what he's got to do uh, to get into the squad. I mean, if Graham Burke can get into the squad, and I'm not knocking Graham Burke because I think he's a fantastic player and he is in there on merit, but. If he is there, I believe that Pat Hoobin should be too. And I think a lot of Dundalk fans would, would agree with me. Or League of Ireland fans in general. Maybe not Cork fans because they had that bit of um, rivalry there with them. But you know, there's some players there that, that I think you know the next couple of squads should be in there. I'd probably say Kieran Salio should be one as well. Uh, most of the time when he's playing for Cork, he makes a difference. If he's not starting and he comes off the bench, he always makes a difference. He was involved in both goals there the other night as well for them. Uh, against Limerick as well, so you know, as I'm happy, I'm I'm content with the squad, but there's bits and pieces that will change, and I definitely think um Huben should be in there. I mean, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I've kind of rambled on a bit there, but that's been my squad reaction, uh, for my only squad to face the uh, USA and France. So uh, check out. We're gonna have a few other videos coming up now over the next couple of days. We'll have a match preview start 11 show and so on so make sure to check it out and as always thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe as well we're just at the reach of 2000 last saturday it's almost up to 2100 so if you haven't uh, already subscribed just make sure you do uh it's much appreciated and uh, thanks for watching